the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. In the next five minutes, I'm going to leave you with your God. I don't know how you are going to cry before God and say, Father, purge my heart. Anything you find that is not the God of heaven, let it live my life. Cast your golden crowns. This is not I am apostle and prophet. Leave that one. It's the nations that will call you that one. Cry before your maker. You don't have to kneel and lie down. Just make sure you are crying. Pour your heart like a drink offering. Don't be ashamed of your tears. So we are before the God of heaven. Don't do big man for him. He is the king of glory. The God of all flesh himself. I cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before. Your glorious majesty. Leave your singing, leave your prophecy. I know you have raised people from the wheelchair. Just keep that one aside. I know God has honored you across the nations. Keep that one aside. I am undone before your glorious majesty. You're the King of kings and Lord. Of Lord. You are the king of kings. You are the Lord of lords. Your glorious majesty. Make sure you're praying. Yeah, yeah. Lord, I surrender everything. I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you, Lord, I surrender all to you. Break your alabaster box. Everything I give to you, 
in this conference. I'm withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Will you give yourself away? Will you give yourself away? So he can use you. Will you give your time away? Will you give your time away? So he can use you. Just two minutes and we're done. Many years ago, when a conference like this, it was in Kaduna. And while just pouring our hearts before the Lord, a song came by the Spirit that has represented a song of surrender. You have my everything. You have my everything. You have my everything. You have my everything. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. Listen. Anoint my everything. Prune my everything. Rebuild my everything. Remake my everything. Say, take all of me. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. You have everything take all of me all of me lord you have my everything sometimes you don't have words you you lack the words This is how great men are made. They are not made by what they do on the pulpit. They are made by the track record of their death in the secret place. On the strength of that encounter, you can walk in signs. Help them, please. Signs and wonders. When you take God seriously, he will give you his presence. You give him time. He will give you an uncommon anointing, an uncommon grace, an unusual lifting. That is the price for all of God. Help that lady. That is the price for genuine spiritual power. Just one minute and we are done. You are not wasting your time. Believe me. Believe me. If you really came for an experience in the year that King Uzziah died I Isaiah saw the Lord Lord what must die in my life for me to see you a king had to die for a prophet to see the Lord what must die in my life for me to see you see the rain of your love we see the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven 
let us hear we see the rain of your love we feel the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear so let it rain let it rain will you open the floodgates of heaven let it rain let it rain one minute and we're done cry your heart to your maker open the floodgates of heaven let it I stand in faith with our bishop and everyone who is here and we cry that we need you afresh everything we have replaced you with we ask for mercy bring us back to the place where you become the center of our pursuit bring us back to the place where you met us when you gave us encounters bring us back to that place So we bow as we enter the throne room yeah. and we cast ourselves down at your feet, Lord, for you are holy, thou art holy, there is none like you. In, in your, your presence, presence that is, is where, where I must be. must be for the way of the Lord uh -huh. is the way <laughs> of wisdom I, I choose the way, way of, of the Lord, Lord. I choose the way of the Lord. Hello, give Madonna. Hello, Hello, Madonna. Hello, Hello, Madonna. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. At this point, just sit down if you can. If you can't sit down, sit on the floor, sit anywhere. We may not have time to touch all five, but let me touch at least one. Then we'll pray. This is a minister's conference. We must have the discipline. The Bible says in the latter times, men will not endure sound doctrine. It takes endurance. Stamina. I assure you of one thing, you're not wasting your time. There are transferences of graces. It's when you go back, you will see fire upon your altar. I know the lion. I know the lamb. I know the lion. I know the lamb. I represent the lion. I represent the lamb. I preach for the lion, not for myself. I preach for the lamb. And I will follow the lion. I will follow the lamb. I know the lion. I know the lion. I know the lamb. I know the lion. I know the lamb. 
and the elder tapped me and he said weep not for the lion of the tribe of judah the root of david he has prevailed and is worthy to open the book and unlock the scrolls thereof and i looked and i saw upon the throne a lamb as though it had been slain having seven horns and seven eyes which were the seven spirits of god this is the one we represent ministry is not politics don't let no politician bring you down you speak for the lion you speak for the lamb you are not speaking for a parliament it's not a senatorial district the only thing higher than ministry on earth is a monarch if you don't know who you stand for politicians and businessmen will cheapen you with hundred million one million one building one land i represent the lion i speak for the lion i speak for the lamb i stand for the lion i stand for the lamb a senator will come and go a businessman will come and go hear me brothers and sisters a governor can only live for eight years in nigeria a dictator would not live for more than three decades they will overthrow him but when you are given the responsibility of representing the monarch of the universe there is nothing superior to that call you must know who you are this is not some boastful thing but it's an honor and a privilege i live for the lion i live for the lamb i represent the lion i represent the lamb look how we celebrate people we say the governor his excellency was not able to make it however he sent a representative the honorable uh, commissioner or minister or whatever and you see people clap and the same honor they would have given the governor your excellency if that minister donates 100 million you don't say the minister donated 100 million you say his excellency whether he discussed with the excellency or not is none of our business all we know is that the excellency gave money so every time you show up you are not just the president of a ministry that's too small an office you are the spokesman for the monarch of the universe he will refer nations to you for their healing he will refer nations to you for mentorship that you will mentor kings and nobles how much salary can reward that office how much gift can reward that office can i touch on one more aspect and we'll pray this is past one just give me 10 minutes is that all right please sit down i have to jump i have five keys i had five keys to share but this first one if we stop here it's a very powerful practice incorporate it as part of your spiritual growth process reproduce this same thing with your leaders call them oh i'm busy for a convention tell them leave it come find a night vigil and all of you should cry before god upon the altar don't grow alone and leave your leaders they will be the ones the devil will use to pull you down grow with them when you pray let them watch you pray if they are tired let them sleep on the altar there Number two, the second mystery of the kingdom that is responsible for church growth, responsible for exploits in ministry, and efficiency in ministry. Oh dear. Well, let me just mention this. We may not have the time, but let me mention it. From Exodus chapter 18, read from verse 1 to 27. The second point, I won't explain it, I'll just mention it and we'll go to the third. The second point, help them, is build systems. Build systems. Leadership systems, administrative systems, Exodus 18, 1 to 27. The Bible talks about Moses. Moses was almost getting weary. Are we together now? Why? Because he had to manage and counsel people from morning till night. And Jethro, his father-in-law, gave him an advice. He said, Mr. Man, this approach even though you are called and sent by god but it will weary you set captains over thousands captains over hundreds captains over 50 let them administrate and then 
you cannot handle the weightier matters of ministry no man survives in ministry if you do not understand system building there are many people who if they are not there if they are not there for one month the ministry will die so you can't go for training so you can't attend other conferences that will build you too if your absence creates a vacuum then your presence is not doing much are we together there are times that God will ask you to spend time with him for one week you will not come out the ministry should be so formidable that your absence the only thing that will be missed is the unique expression of God's grace not that the entire structure will collapse build systems in the early church there was a quarrel among the Grecian women and the Jews because of the matter of tables and the apostles said no 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 no. let's let's manage this well get seven men full of the holy ghost and wisdom who we'll set them over the affairs of welfare but we will give ourselves to the ministry of the word and of prayer years ago because of the overwhelming demand i used to do a lot of counseling and it was mondays just once every week i would start counseling from 10 a.m till 10 p.m sometimes i'll be returning from administration as i sit down i may only stand up to go and ease myself so many people it was raising security concerns it was raising a lot of things and i said no there has to be a way out of this do not be afraid to train men some of them will rebel but don't worry you will reap what you sow not where you sow just know that you will reap for sure are we together don't be afraid of raising people beware of just employing people raise people there is a difference between a hireling and a son even if you employ people let them go through the system that makes for sons otherwise their hearts will be on salary not the vision build systems build systems build systems build systems you outsource by building people build leadership systems don't blame everybody for the mistake of one person no sound goes off every leader suffers for it no when you build systems you can identify loopholes very easily are we together now so let me just stop there the third is impact the third essential for effective ministry mark chapter one the full text is the whole verse but let me just read a few portions mark chapter one you are not in ministry if you are not making impact if you are not in ministry if you are not providing supernatural solutions that meet the needs of men listen let me tell you something in the name of jesus and in the name of honesty pain is real the darkness that plague people is real you stand as a minister of the minister of the gospel regardless the geography of your call you must insist and ensure that you are providing supernatural solutions be ready for empty pews in our days today if there is no genuine grace upon your life to communicate results not just results of miracles signs and wonders transformation by the word that someone's come to your church or your platform or your crusade or whatever it is and just two weeks after sitting under your grace they are radically transformed nobody leaves what works every ministry rise it rises to reflect the level of transformation and empowerment of the leader the problem is hardly the structure the problem is the leader are we blessed impact mark chapter one oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah yahweh Yahweh. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, Yahweh. Yahweh. Mark chapter 1 from verse 21. Let me just cut a few portions. And they went into Capernaum, the Bible says. And straightway on the Sabbath day, he entered into the synagogue and taught. This is Jesus now. Next verse. The Bible says 22, and they were astonished at his doctrine. 
For he taught as one that had authority and not as the scribes. Then the Bible says 23. There was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit and he cried out saying, let us alone. What have we to do with you, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know who thou art, the Holy One of God. The Bible says, and Jesus rebuked him, saying, hold thy peace and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had torn him, he cried out with a loud voice and came out. As a result, 27. 27. Do we have it projected? I wish it was. But let's read together if you can find it. And they were all amazed. The Bible says that they questioned among themselves saying, what thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with authority commanded he even unclean spirits. Mm. As a result, 28, and immediately, someone say immediately, and immediately, 28, his fame spread abroad throughout all the region of Galilee. Listen to me. It takes impact and exploits to really enjoy fruitful ministry. John 15 verse 8 says, Herein is our Father glorified. When ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. No matter what kind of encounter you claim to have, it doesn't mean anything to people until that encounter translates into a dimension of the exegesis of scripture that profits them as far as enlightenment and transformation is concerned. And then you sustain the requisite level of spiritual power that it takes to provide supernatural solutions that, that solve their problems. Life applicable truths that they can use here and now and return back with results. Please do not downplay the problems of men. People have serious problems. Every man can have a flourishing ministry. Every man can have a flourishing business to the degree to which you provide superior solutions. Superior solutions. I made a covenant with God and with my destiny that nobody will ever meet me twice to be blessed once is enough if you meet me twice it should be for the continuation of your growth and transformation so you put a healthy pressure on yourself to go back to the secret place lord place something on my life when god was sending me i said god please don't send me with just a sermon don't send me with just a message. Grant me the grace to demonstrate and validate the things that you have sent me to do. I write these things to you, O excellent Theophilus, of all that Jesus began to do and teach. Are we blessed? Let me show you a few more portions there and then we'll pray. Verse 32. And at evening, when the sun did set, they brought unto him all that were diseased and them that were possessed with devils and all the city, all the city because they discerned that this man was a miracle worker that the hand of God was with him all the city came and the Bible says they gathered at the door and he healed many that were sick of diverse diseases and cast out many devils and suffer not the devils to speak because they knew him. Verse 35. We'll stop at 37 because of time. And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place and there prayed. And the Bible says, And Simon and they that were with him followed after him. May 37 be the prophecy for your life and your ministry. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, And when they had found him, they said unto him, All men seek for thee. All men. Hear me. 
There are kinds of graces when you carry, only your tribesmen seek for you. There are graces when you carry, only educated people seek for you. There are graces when you carry, only uneducated and poor people seek for you. There are graces when you carry, only those along your field will seek for you. But there are truths and graces when you carry, all men, all men, all men, regardless tribe, regardless profession, this is the grace that attracts not just a crowd, but even attracts a quality of people that one person can come by grace and hold your hand because he was sent. May that all men grace rest on you. May that all men grace rest on your business. May that all men grace rest on your ministry. Jesus had all kinds of people come to him. There were business people who came to him. There were nobles who came to him. The rich young ruler came to him. Politicians came to him. Publicans came to him. Little children even came to him. There is a grace that draws all men. It's the same grace that came upon Noah and all the animals started finding their way to his ark. There is such a grace. Please listen to what I'm telling you. I know what I'm saying. You know you are leading when someone is following you. If no one is following you, something is wrong. Are we together? And can I tell you this? The presence of one ministry is not the reason for the failure of another. Not so. There are more than enough people to create sufficient platform for impact. Where the carcasses are, that's where the eagles gather. When fire is burning on the altar john wesley said set yourself on fire and all the nations will come to watch you burn please stop giving excuses kill all the excuses and stay with god it's not because you are Igbo. it's not because you are yoruba it's not because you are hausa it's not because you are south south there is a level of fire that nobody will ask where you are coming from people are desperate for answers and let me tell you this, when they find those answers, they will inconvenience themselves and stay there. A politician with his dignity and education will go to a forest and meet a herbalist as tattered as it is. Hey, turn back! And the man will turn back and humble himself because he's desperate to win an election. I gave an analogy somewhere, and let me use it here as we wrap up. Don't feel emotional. But during the NSAS protest, you know that once upon a time, states started identifying warehouses where they kept rice, beans, indomie, spaghetti. Do you know that that warehouse did not have a signboard? This is warehouse. The signboard did not have an usher. It didn't have anybody playing keyboard. It only had rice inside. It had rice, yam, spaghetti. Hungry people can smell where real food is. Listen to me. Somebody just meandered and looked at a building. Whenever they stop those warehouses, they do it in the night. Because if they do it in the day, hoodlums will come. Most people in a territory, they don't know where their warehouses are. And yet, look at the skills that were suddenly invented. People tore the zinc, not with hammer that's what hunger can do. Imagine that you are that warehouse. There will be no sleep for you. While you are sleeping, someone says, look, I hear that this convention is starting in May, but I'll be hanging around by April and still be warming up myself because I have discerned that your conferences are not ordinary, that God is with you. Rabbi, he said, we know that thou art a man sent from God, for no man can do these things except God be with him. Impact is what answers to resources. Impact is what answers to men. Nobody will come and open up their hearts to you for nothing. you must make up your mind to go back father 
I am tired of standing on stage and saying, don't worry. I, I, I didn't prepare for my sermon. Whatever you hear, just believe it's of God. You must tell yourself, I will be sound in scripture. I will be sound in doctrine. Study to show yourself approved. The Bible says a watchman that needed not to be ashamed. Roll away shame from your life. Make up your mind to sit down. Be a student of scripture. Then lock yourself in the spirit. Generate power with God. Make a toast kaba. Rekete bekete ka. Embreke toch kabara. Let the sick not come and return sick. May I not share the grace with sinners going back as sinners. I made up my mind on that God. It is not my intention to know everything. But in the area God has called me. There will be no rest until you you see champions don't rest while they are clapping for you you set your for your face as a flint i was teaching in our other center and i told them something i said people commend me and say apostle you are so good and i say compared to what compared to what when people are clapping for you before you receive it look at who is clapping for you first if a mediocre is clapping for you, just laugh, but don't mind them. Go back and settle down and tell yourself, this one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind, I press. Don't celebrate little things. Small impact. One person got healed. Out of how many? 70 people came sick on that crusade ground. Only two people walked out of the wheelchair. And you are smiling. Go back to a retreat. A herbalist can do that. Uncommon results. Am I stretching you? Don't feel bad. Those who produce results, the father prunes so that you produce more. That the opening of your mouth is, is like the opening of the gates of the destinies of men. I vow to God that I will never stand on any man's pulpit and preach. And while I'm preaching, they're already concluding and saying, this man will not come again. I'm so disappointed. Nonsense. No transformation. No healing. No salvation. No blessing. No nothing. Thank you, sir, for coming. Take no. When you carry fire, don't say nobody's inviting me. There is a version of you they are looking for. You have not yet become it. Be careful if only your friends are inviting you. Your friends love you the way you are. The nations must call on your grace. Not just your friends. Are they the only ones listening to you? The nation should call you. Strangers should come to you. Did the Bible not say Gentiles will come to your light? They are kings to the brightness of your rising someone in one minute blasting tongues lord i'm tired of this level i will not be the same again in the name of jesus the christ of god i'm tired of business at this level i'm tired of ministry at this level i'm tired of just recycling sermons my people already are discerning my exhaustion take me to a higher dimension a higher face in the spirit Jehovah Jireh, my provider, your grace is sufficient for me. Your Jehovah Jireh, my provider, your grace is sufficient for me. My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. You will put your angels charge over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. Listen. The last area I wanted to talk about was the issue of finance. Maybe another time if God grants grace. But one thing I can tell you is financing ministry answers to impact nobody will come and bless you indefinitely for doing nothing the lord gave the word great 
great. Great is not just those who are great. Great were those who were made by the one who the Lord gave the word to. Ordinary men came to David in the cave of Adullam. The Bible says there were men who were weak. There were men who were in debt. There were men who were in distress. Stop waiting for wealthy people to come. Make people out of your congregation from the power of the word that he's given you. God is not only the maker of heavens and the earth, he can make men. See, there are certain truths you cannot teach when you have dipped your hands in certain wrong resources. You will not have the courage to say certain things. Are we together? But please don't let anybody let you believe you don't need money in ministry. It's a lie, oh. Let me tell you, in the name of Jesus and in the name of honesty. This name of Jesus we lift is very heavy. It takes resources to lift him high. The body of a 33-year-old man called Jesus was hanging on the cross. No prayer warrior could bring it down. No fasting giant could bring it down. It took a man of influence and wealth called Joseph of Arimathea to use his influence with the king and ask for the body to come down and to put it in his own virgin tomb. Prosperity played a role in redemption. Reject poverty. Reject it, I am telling you this. But don't just reject it because you want to be rich. Have a kingdom perspective to it. This obsession about money has made ministry look so ugly. Money, 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 money. No. It is impact. Money is a receipt that you have made impact. When you buy something, they don't give you the receipt before you pay. They give you the receipt after. The resources that come are attestations that you have changed lives. There are three dimensions of wealth. Number one is the wealth that comes by transacting business. You provide services, you provide solutions, and you are paid. Are we together now? You package your value, you serve it to a targeted consumer base. It's called business. The second level of wealth is called transformational wealth. Here you don't sell the value. You raise people, you lift people, you enlighten them, you impact them. They return back with thanks to you. You see, the law of the reward system of the kingdom is whether your value is dispensed at a price or given free, you must be rewarded. But the third level of wealth is the area I want to speak into our lives now. It's called sovereign wealth, wealth by prophecy. There is wealth that comes by the finger of God. It's not a license for laziness. It's an advantage that we have in the kingdom. I shared with you my story yesterday. that I paid for something for a woman some women and they blessed me and one of them said my son forever walk upon gold walk upon gold you never just give me two minutes there are certain dimensions of financial exploits in ministry you will never be able to enter until you know how to provoke the prophetic dimension of wealth the prophetic dimension of wealth is provoked through two things one honor two sacrifice Psalm 50 and verse 5 gather unto me my saints they that have made a covenant with me I'm not just talking about money see I will lie to you if I don't tell you this I will be deceiving you and God will judge me. If I just tell you, oh, there are certain levels of mysterious dimensions of wealth. You may have enough resources for your personal care, but ministry? No. Are we blessed? God is able to pick a man from any level. Believe me, wealth in ministry can give you rest all these worries some of us are here now respectfully speaking you love god but there are bills corporate bills on your head that the devil is using to give you stress 
you can spend three hours we think you are praying but it's not prayer you are doing you are just thinking and say my god next sunday will they lock this church unfortunately the owner of the place if you don't yet have your facility does not care whether you are praying in tongues or not give to caesar one of the laws of being a peacemaker is to give to caesar what belongs to caesar and to god what belongs to god and satan always he will want to cripple your impact using the tool of the absence of resources because he knows that no matter how you are if you do not have resources it will not amplify your voice proverbs 22 verse 7 the bible says the 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 rich ruleth over the poor and the borrower is servant or slave to the lender reject poverty because of its effect to kingdom come reject poverty because of its effect to the quality of your life let me wrap up pat robinson the founder of cbn 700 club most of you know him as that one day many years ago i listened to him while he was talking and he said when god was calling him into ministry he prayed and he asked god for three things he said lord give me wisdom lord give me favor lord grant me the anointing of the holy ghost when i had that i went back to my place of prayer and i prayed the exact same prayer i said lord give me wisdom lord give me favor I don't come from a background where there is anybody to support me. I don't have any uncle, any auntie, any senator, any governor that will say, take 10 naira. God has blessed you. No. If God sent you, let him go and prove himself with you there. Save journey. My life today is a testament that God is able to lift. That God is able to bless This is a pastor's conference. It's just that sadly sometimes it's not good to share such. Oh Many people think men of God don't know anything about money. Just because of the humility of people, a lot of people call me, I have money, I have 10 million, I have this. Listen to God. No, 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 I'm a rich man. You are poor until you can give to the kingdom without stress on you. Having 10 million, 100 million, and all of, once it is still you, you are not yet there. When it becomes about him without inconvenience, then you are really wealthy. I'm not insulting your pedigree. I know that there are many of us here, God has shown us mercy. But let me tell you, it's nothing compared to where God can take you. And that he takes you to a place where you can still remain on your knees. You can still remain on your knees where you will not come back and look at your bishop and say i just got a contract of one billion yeah. i don't pursue politicians i don't pursue business people i don't look for anybody no. when they come i pray for them don't look for any basket there just go home may the lord bless you i bid you good speed if god leads you to so no problem my supply comes from the one who sent me and my obedience to the principles he put. Rise up, let's pray. Let me encourage everyone here. We have a few hours and there will be a miracle service. But listen, I usually don't do this, but let me speak. Bishop, let me just obtain permission from you on this. If I were you, please do not allow evening to come without sitting down to ask God what sacrifice. Hear what I'm telling you. If you follow my teachings, you know that it's, it's not my culture to come and tell people, but I will be lying to you. This is what we did to rise. I will be lying and deceiving you if we just say, you must trust God for a grace. I came for a conference. I didn't just come to hear. Lord, what is the sacrifice that I must bring on this altar for myself and for my church or ministry? If you do it for yourself, you are the only one who will rise. And then the trouble and the bills of the ministry will bring you down. The laws of the kingdom do not fail. 
please agree with God. I'm not going to tell you anything, but it's between you and your God. We are leaders. Remember, you are teaching others too. Except if you don't believe what you are teaching. Most ministers don't practice what they teach. That's why they keep lifting people and they don't rise. I'm sorry we'll reconcile after the grace, but let me tell you this. If you, your blessing comes in your own obedience, don't say give and then don't give yourself. A sacrifice you bring before the Lord with understanding. Lord, I'm ready to break this hardship in ministry. I'm ready to break this struggle. I have today, tomorrow I don't have. I'm tired of this embarrassment. The principle of seed faith is based on the principle of resurrection. You can kill seasons by tying them to a seed. When that seed dies, the season you attach to it must die too. That's the principle of seed faith. So any season I want to kill in my life because I'm tired of it, I can tie it to a seed and bury it. You've heard my teaching. That's why it's dangerous to steal money in church because you don't know what seasons were tied to the seeds you are stealing. You don't know what someone is trying to kill. Just lift your hands in one minute and thank God for this conference. Lord, my life will never be the same. My ministry will never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now please for the evening is our final session together. May I please request if Bishop will allow. Please everyone you may do well to come with a prayer request. Just write down for yourself. For your ministry. For others. Your family members. By the grace of God if the Bishop allows. In the course of the service we'll collate the request here and we'll pray. That every Egyptian that you see, in the name of Jesus, come this evening, you will see them no more forever. The Lord bless you and the Lord increase you in Jesus' name. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages, subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.